Hey, hey, hey. Today we are going to convert our recipe into graphic format. Now the recipe I've given you is you'll find on this website, Tasty, which I hope you've already gone there and seen it. Um, and that's the recipe I have in front of you now. The thing uh, I want to point out to start with is my computer's a little wonky. Uh, this is a traditional format recipe, except it's a little bit different because a true traditional recipe is going to have ingredients at the top, procedure at the bottom, or preparation. But this one's got the ingredients off to the left. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it saved some space. I don't know, but I hope it doesn't throw you too much. So the ingredients are on the left here. Preparation is on the right. So, But it makes no difference because we're going to convert that to graphic format. Now, today's assignment, you're going to actually build the table yourself. I'll show you how to do it, but instead of me giving you the table already and filling it, you're going to actually convert. You're going to do the whole thing, the whole conversion yourself. So the first thing we want to do uh, is see how many rows and columns we need. And you always need a row for your title and a row for your pre-step. So there's two there. And three ingredients. So it needs to be five rows. And then the columns is just going to be your um, steps plus one for your ingredients. So this is going to be eight. So we're going to go five by eight. So here's my document. And I'm going to go ahead and split my screen in two. My document over here. Oh, what did you do? My document over here. Make it a little bit smaller. And go to the original recipe there. Move this. Ah, uh, what the heck happened? All right, so we're back to where we need to be. Actually, we don't need that picture there. Let's move the whole thing over. I guess we're going to get the picture whether we want or not. Stop it. All right, come on. What have I done? Okay, so I'm going to move this over here. Of course, we have a stupid assignment. First thing I want to do is title my document. And that is going to be three, three ingredients. Peanuts, oops, butter, cookies, version. Okay, let's get my face out of the way again. All right, we're going to have to build a table, so we have to insert a table. So we click on Insert Table. And, oops, Insert Table. And we want five by eight. 8 by 5, I guess. 
Now, if you don't get this exactly right the first time, it's okay. We can add rows and columns easily. So there's my table. First thing I want at the top is my title. So I'm going to highlight my top row there. Format. Table. And I'm going to merge cells. And my title will go in there. I'm not going to bore you by typing the title. You know how to do that. Second row. Our pre-step. So we're going to go format, table, and move my face. Format, table, merge cells. Now again, I'm not going to bore you by making you watch me type in the pre-step, but you have got to do it. Don't just look what I've got and copy it down. I see people turning in halfway done work quite often uh, because they stop where I stop. I don't want you to stop here. I want you to type the whole thing, but I'm not going to do it because then I'm doing the work for you. Now we have three ingredients, our peanut butter, our sugar, our egg. So your peanut butter ingredient goes here, your sugar here, your egg goes there. Are you with me? Now, here is our pre-step. You can copy it. paste it there. Now your first step is in a large bowl mixed together peanut butter, sugar, and egg. Well that's three ingredients. Peanut butter goes here, sugar, and egg. I'll let you figure out how to fill those in. I don't want to do it for you, but I think you can do it. Now your first step involves which ingredients? the peanut butter, the sugar, and the egg. So we're going to take these three cells, peanut butter, the sugar, and the egg row, and we're going to merge them together. Now if you want to, you can copy and paste in there. Okay, but it doesn't seem to work, does it? So what we're going to do is, for some reason, we have a numbering format. So I deleted that numbering format. Now, since we have, or you're going to have your peanut butter here, your sugar here, and your eggs there, I'll let you fill those in. I'm not going to do it for you. You know how to do that. You do not need the words peanut butter, sugar, and egg. So get rid of those. You don't need the the. All you need is in a large bowl mixed together. Make sure none of your words are broken up. If they are, you need to adjust things. Excuse me. So they're not broken up. Last week, someone told me uh, when I said his words were broken up, he said, well, I spelled everything correctly. How could they be broken up? Like, it's out of his hands. Well, no, you, it's your table. You build it. So you determine the size. Uh, you determine the font size, et cetera, et cetera. You have to make it work. It's, if, it's, if your words are broken up, you got to fix it. You can't just say, well, that's the way it is. I spelled everything correct. No, you are in control of this table. It is something that you build. So there's our, let's get rid of this too. There we go. 
that's a pre-step actually. So here's our step one, or step two, or step three. And again, you'll have to merge these together. And let's look at the original. There's your step one. Well, this is actually your two here because we're going to change it. Two, three, four, five, six, and your seven enjoy goes there after you merge those cells. Pretty simple. But make sure you don't have the words peanut butter, sugar, and egg in this cell. Make sure you merge these three together, these three together, and these three together, etc. Because once they're mixed together, they're not going to be split apart again. So your cells always go from small to larger. You don't have three cells here and then I'm sorry, you don't have one cell here and then three here. Once you're at one cell, everything thereafter is going to be one cell. So I hope that helps you. Feel free to stop this, back it up, and play it over again if you need to, and turn this in when you're finished.